I'm going to show some basic raster manipulation. We'll begin by loading a new raster layer and we'll do that from our QGIS sample data folder under the raster and land cover .img. Now one of the things that you'll notice is that the entire area has a value. Okay, Out here we've got a value of 0 we get to the interior, still on band 1, of course, value 8, value 10. Okay, so we can see that everything on here has changed. Now, if we wanted to, <clears throat> for example, make this blue disappear, what we can do is we can double click on the land cover, bring up the properties, go to transparency, and we will we will add a new transparency value and if we add zero to that and click apply we'll see that everything that was zero disappears if we want to see the rivers and the other information on top on obscured we can move this down now you'll see that these other vector layers are actually displayed on top of the raster. Uh, you'll notice this Alaska vector layer. We can move it above and that will take everything away because it's solid. we don't want to do that. We can probably actually shut that right off. That's not as good a look. And it's very easy to, uh, to actually do that. You'll notice if we try clicking on the river, we get band 6. That's because we've actually got the land cover raster selected. And if you remember, we have to have the act, it's only the active layer which will show information about, so that then when we click on it there, it's going to pull up the information for the river. To do much more work with the rasters, we have to recruit some extra help and we do this by way of the plugin and to do that we're going to open up the grass plugin